first. Well, we're here to do the uh, Arctic skin steer plow demo, I guess you would call it. Hey? That's right. We're excited. This one here, we're going to leave the uh, wings on. Uh, we're gonna, this video, the wings will be on. We had snow last night, but we had a lot of high winds. And what we have when we have high winds, we usually get drifting. So you can see there's no snow here. But if Kathy went over there by the fire hydrant, it's probably be up to her knees in it. That's right. Out on the other side is going to be really deep. So we're going to use the, the plow as much as we can. But I have to allocate where I'm putting the snow because we don't know how much winter is left. The snow is not only compact, but it's also wet. You can see, look how the pavement is starting to wetten up. So this is what you get, wet snow. And that even compounds the problem. Again, it's good because it's an Arctic with the poly blade, but the tractor got to work really hard. So we're gonna get her ready, get it started. And then you're going to see the very push, uh, the very first push with this new Arctic pile.
can that ever push? That's crazy. Wow, isn't it? That's crazy. At one point, I couldn't even see a tractor. You had that much snow piled up. I never thought that I would use the wings a lot. Yeah. Somebody said on the... Uh, I mean, the, uh, the wind. Some, somebody said on the uh, comment section last night, once you use the wings, you're never going back without them, right? Yes, I read that. I can... Uh, there's situations where I got to have them off because when I want to go in there and back scrape it, I can't do it with the wings on because... See how far oh, out? I, I can't get in with the yeah, cutting Yeah, you wouldn't right? be able to get so close. The... Um, but it's incredible. Uh, and of course, I'm not used to the trip edge either, see? No. The trip edge is a whole different. Now, I looked down once, I could see it right from the corner window. Yes. The trip edge had tripped. And I said, I know what's going on. I, I have the angle of the blade too much, uh -oh. so it caused it to, to fold in under. Wow. So the idea is to bring back your, your blade a little bit, and it cuts really good. And it's a brand new cutting edge too, see? When I used to work at heavy equipment, I used to dread when they welders had put a brand new cutting edge on the loader because once you touched the ground, it went right in the ground. <laughs> right? But uh, I see one thing I have to change, and it has nothing to do, it has something to do with the plow, but not the plow's fault. And uh, when I'm angling it, it's very fast. Somebody mentioned it last night as well in, in the comment section. The third function puts out that much uh, pressure that the blade, when it goes over, it goes over fast. I'll just show you. faster than it needs to be. So what you do, come over here. What you do is you do what I did here. This thing here was so fast, it was like a spin top. Oh yeah. And what I did is I put in two restrictors mm -hmm. and I adjusted them and now it turns it at a reasonable rate because you can literally take it to the back window. This chute goes past the, wow. goes, goes back so far, right? Yeah, so this is what we're going to do now. We're going to haul these wings off so the people at home can see it. Another thing, too, that you'll see. I went in there and it's solid ice. You can see the difference in the snow. Look. Yes. That's ice, yeah. right? Because we've had snow, rain, snow, rain, snow, rain. That's right. So that, that way the crossover valve is working because you see the, the, uh, the blade when it went. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, that's taken the pressure off the hydraulic system. Okay. In other words, it's putting some give into the system. If I never had that, it's quite possible I could break a line or break a steel pipe up here. Don't ask me how I know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, folks, don't ask. So now we're going to see, because I've never had these off before. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We're all going to see it now for the first time. I got them them clips on it. I'm going to tell you something. They're not friendly on the fingers. Oh yeah, you don't want them to snap back. No. no. They're not friendly. I've been bitten by them. i got to get the pliers. Yeah, I've been bitten by them clips before. They're nasty. They hit you right to the bone. Pretty good to stay on, right? Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Linchpin. And they snap and they <laughs> squat your fingers. <laughs> and that way you get to see a grown man cry. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty hey. cool. Yeah. So. We shall show you how this works, folks. You're clipping our wings. Yeah. You keep your feet from out and under it. Wow, now that's pretty cool, isn't it? Cool as a drool. <laughs> cool as a drool. Look at that. Yeah, neat. Okay. I'd say it's heavy, is it? It's heavy. 
Hey, I already don't feel any light. No. This is not Fisher Price. This is tough. Yeah. Fella needs to eat his Cheerios when he's at this. I'm telling you, you do, don't you? Well, wow. You're going to have a hard time getting them off, you know? I know. <laughs> yeah. You're doing that now, so I'll see how to do it, That's right? right. Yeah. The next ones I got to take off. Yeah. Now, fellows, will say. You should have had the hydraulic wings. <laughs> but no, because I got a third function valve on there now. Hydraulics is extra weight, extra hoses, and extra things to worry about. Now it's off. It's only ten minutes. Right. If that. So now I can get in there and get the yes, snow. And do it as Unless you again. want the shovel. No, no, that's okay. You can do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Great test, eh? That was a great test indeed. That was heavy snow, wet snow, compacted with the wind snow. You can see the water underneath, look. Yeah, you can. And I mean, look at it. Perfect. Perfect. Very, very pleased with this setup. It's, oh my, yes. It's, it's, it's kind of an adjustment for me because I'm going from a, a 1994 poly blade built by Arctic to a 2020. So this one's tight. The, New cutting edge, trip edge, not used to it, and it's about, it handled it perfect. 
So I just got a, one thing to do, and that's to slow down the, the angle, and then I'm good to go. Do you know that Arctic has a seven-year warranty? Wow, seven-year seven warranty. It's incredible. Yeah, some of it might be prorated. I don't know. You'd have to check their website. But it just goes to show the confidence they have in that product, right? Polyblade, right. galvanized, seven-year warranty. <laughs> you know, paid pennies for it when you consider over the period over of the that period time. of time that it's going to work for you, right? Exactly. You know, our other one don't owe us anything. Hey. Okay. No, nothing. So anyway, yeah, uh, that's it for this one, folks. We'll be back again. There's supposed to be more snow next week, or th yeah, next week. This, well, this is Sunday. Mm -hmm. Week coming. And if there is, uh, if you want to see another uh, video, just say so in the comments and we'll make it happen. Thanks to Arctic for building such a quality product. Thanks for Kubota for such a quality tractor. And uh, no thanks to Old Man Winter, but hey, we got her done. <laughs> so we'll see you and next video, guys. you deserve some thanks, too. Huh? You deserve some thanks, too. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching, folks. We appreciate all the comments. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Be good to each other. God bless.